My best day as a behavioral technician would be when the kids had the animals visit and just watching my kid um, explore the different textures of each animal, like from the baby pig to a goat and the light, you know, the light in their eyes as they're feeling all of the different animals that they only see, you know, on TV or that we teach them um, with when we're learning about animals. I love every client that I've ever worked with. I could get emotional about it. I, um, just watching them grow is awesome. And I love my work environment. I've made really good best friends here in three years. And you know, we talk every day outside of work and see each other. And then my supervisors have always been supportive. I actually have really great bonds with my supervisors. Um, you know, they're there for me in my personal life and also in my professional life. So I love it. It's a very like, you know, you have to discipline yourself first before you can help the kids. So I'm like, yeah, we're doing this 20 times. Let's do it 20 times. Um, so just be patient and rem remembering that their life is a little bit more difficult through their lenses than it is for us. Honestly, my worst day I just had as a behavior technician um, was recently when my client was using the bathroom with number two. He likes privacy, also likes to completely disrobe because that makes him comfortable to go number two, right? So you, you want to go number two whichever way you can without it being this huge problem. And so he went number two disrobed in the small corner of the bathroom. And he came out of the stall because he likes the door close. And another BT was like, oh, you forgot to flush. And so I reminded him to flush. He goes back in. You know, he says he's not done going number two. So I let him go number two again. And then he flushes the toilet about six times. I'm like, okay, now it's time for me to get up. There's no more privacy. Keeps flushing, flushing, flushing. Um, I open the door and just his water from number two is just flooding out onto the tile, then onto the carpet. And, and he's loving it, right? He's splashing in it and I'm chasing him around when he's not wearing any clothes and you know, there's joy in his eyes because it's a puddle. Who doesn't want to splash in a puddle? Um, this puddle was not the best puddle to splash in. Um, and so uh, the BTs, we all worked together in the room, had a corner and worked together to put on his clothes, his dry clothes to wipe him down with gloves and then uh, evacuate the room immediately. So that was my worst day as a behavior technician. Um, reminded me, that day reminded me to have just patience and you know, he doesn't understand that it's not just a water puddle. So having patience. Top three things I've learned from this job, have fun, have fun, have fun. Um, no day is perfect and you don't have to worry about your kid having a correct response or learning what they're supposed to be learning the right way, just have fun. And I think that's what keeps me coming back to is how much fun I have working with my kiddos. If I were to give someone advice about becoming a behavior technician, I would tell them to look into ABA first because I did not and I kind of just learned as I went, but I would have like to study a little bit more about ABA because this was just kind of a job just to start and I didn't realize how passionate I was about the job until after I started and I didn't know anything about the job. So I think it would have been more beneficial for me to, you know, look into ASD, look into what autism is and look into what ABA is. And so I would recommend that you do a little research and see how rewarding it actually is. One kid in particular is one who could not speak, um, just had vocalizations, which is he, he points to something like, ooh, ah, eh. And then now it's turned into, I want that. I want this, I need this, can I have this? So that's really rewarding is to see, um, you know, someone who has almost no speech, learn speech and use that speech communication with you. If someone were to ask me if I wanted to be a behavioral therapist, Again, 100%, I would say yes. I would have done it way earlier. I would have started out of high school. It is that fun. It's very rewarding to watch your clients grow. You know, I, it's, it's To me, it's better than a job taking calls and sitting and taking the same calls over and over again. Because um, no day is ever the same. 
with you and your kiddo. Like every day is different. And some days are bad and some days are good. But um, I like to harp on the good days and learn how to have always good days with 